Hi, Mike. I know you're a big weather person. Yeah, I gotta blame that on my dad. Ever since I was a kid, he always hyped it up. Thunderstorms, snowstorms, bad weather coming. We always, you know, watched the radar and tracked it as much as we can and then enjoyed it when the storm came. So. I remember a couple years ago, there were some pretty significant snowstorms back east. I yeah. Mean, that's got to be crazy, too. Yeah, I'm a big, big snow guy. Yeah. I'm always hyping up the storms back home. Me and my dad and my brother were really into, you know, seeing how much we're going to get. Projected <laughs> snowfall, and usually none of us were right. So it's... Uh, <laughs> You know, weather, predicting weather's hard. So what one, I mean, of all the storms, what was the one that you go, wow, I yeah. want to be able to pick that uh, fun? The craziest one I've been a part of, I was in Little Rock, Arkansas, playing double-A ball with my family. We're at a, their hotel, and a tornado warning came uh, came across TV. Firefighters knocked on our door and said, hey, you guys got to go to this room down, it's like this ballroom. And uh, we were all sitting there around tables and just hungering down, just make sure we were, you know, staying away from windows and stuff because there was a tornado coming. It was real eerie, you know, the, the chandeliers were shaking. It was oh. it was scary stuff. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, down the road, this is way down the road. Mm-hmm. That's something you would think you would get, like to get involved in, though. Uh, I mean, I like I would, I would want to go maybe ride along, maybe yeah. go chase some storms, but uh, that's just my wife lets me around, so. <laughs> That's always a big club. A little danger. So. Yeah, exactly. So weather thing is going to be a passion for, for a oh, long yeah, time for you. Yeah, it's always there. Like I said, big weather guy. When you were a kid growing up, there's always those times where you, you do get yourself in trouble. So what about you? Anything like that when you were a kid? I was a kid and did some stupid stuff. You know, the weekends were the big thing for me. I kind of was crazy during the week with school and yeah. with sports. So um, growing up, I lived near a, uh, a fairgrounds. The fairgrounds was huge. I had the core group of 10 friends, and we would camp out, and we'd be out there all night. One time, we were out there by the fire, and uh, I wanted to get the fire bigger. You know, I wasn't really <laughs> happy with the fire. The flame wasn't real big, so I got some gas. Oh. And uh, threw some gas on the on the fire, and the fire came up and lit the gas can on fire. And I kind of freaked out and threw the gas can, and I lit the tent on fire. And all I could think about is I'm gonna burn my woods down. My house, is, my dad's gonna kill me. My mom's probably going nuts. Was your brother part of that little group of friends? Yeah, going he was out there. And hanging out all he the time. He was there. Which one do you would take take the blame the most? It was probably me. I mean, he he did some crazy things too, but he was the one telling me not to do it, and I did it, and I burned the tent down. So yeah. <laughs> we took care of it. Got the tent was completely trashed, burned up, melted. By the time you got home, it never happened. Yeah, it never right? happened. No, it never yeah, happened. Out, yeah, we were just having a fire, good time, you know. So. I know you're a big music guy. I love music myself. And what concert, though, do you remember going to that you'll say, you know what? This is something I'll remember the rest of my life. Me and my wife are big Florida Georgia Line fans. Going to see them live. Obviously love their music. It's always a good time to get a bunch of friends together and get some tickets and go sit in the crowd. You know, it's dark. You know, people really don't recognize you. They're singing. You're singing loud. The words aren't the right words, but you're going with it. Florida Georgia Line brings you up on stage. What do you want to do? You want to play some drums? You want to play the bass, guitar? You want to sing a little solo out there? What would you do if they brought you up on the stage? Definitely not singing a solo. I'm a big shower guy. I like to sing in the shower. I turn some music on. You know, sometimes the wife records it and... I tell my wife this all the time, if I could just play the guitar, you know, that's one thing I'd want to learn, you know, after or during my career. I bought a guitar about two years ago when I was roommates with Garrett and Lex uh, Richards. Every night I'd come home and look on YouTube, try to play some songs, never worked out. I could just play Smoke on the Water, that's know, it. That's, that's one, nah, three chords. Nah, that's, yeah, yes. that's it, that's it. <laughs> and I would come home. And uh, I'd sometimes beat Garrett home from the field. He'd walk in the house, and I'd just be jamming smoke on the water. And he, he comes in, he's like, Mike, man, you got to learn a different song. But I think down the road, I would, I would want to be able to play, you know, like a song or something, yeah. you know, like a dinner night or something for my wife. That'd be so cool.